So without further ado, I'm pleased to welcome my colleague, Ross Gaskell. He is a director at Forest Grove, responsible for the consulting and implementation of Forest Grove's financial planning and analysis and data analytics projects. Welcome, Ross. Thank you, Betsy, uh, and welcome everyone to the Nine Data Talks. Uh, it's uh, it's an honour and a privilege to be hosting this event for the second time with our good friends from Nine. The Nine community is booming across the world with hundreds of thousands of users spanning six continents. Now I'm not sure that we've reached anyone in Antarctica just yet, uh, but I'm, I'm sure it won't be long before we do. If you know anyone in Antarctica, please uh, please them know that uh, that we're here. Um, it's uh, it's especially exciting to see over 400 people sign up for this event from more than 40 different countries. And when we talk to our clients and the broader Nine community, it's always exhilarating to learn how people are leveraging this amazing technology across a very broad range of industries to create more value, to, to gain deeper insights and to cultivate a data-driven culture in their organizations. We're in for a real treat today uh, with some inspirational guest speakers sharing their experience, their challenges and their influence on shaping a data-driven culture. Now, when we talk about creating, shaping and, and nurturing a data culture, it's all about enabling and encouraging your your team, your colleagues, your collection of people to trust in data when evaluating, making and explaining their decisions. Creating a data driven culture is often easier said than done, and, and it can take some time, but it's something that we can that we can all influence. And it's the availability of open source applications like nine. That's really helping to accelerate this collective data backed behavior and all of its associated benefits. At Forest Grove, we've been focused on helping businesses and, and the people in those businesses to make better decisions with more meaningful data. This is all being achieved through strategic partnerships with market leading technologies. Our journey started in 2004 through a partnership with Profix a global tech firm that develops software to help businesses improve their budgeting, their forecasting and their management reporting processes. In 2011, we partnered with Tableau, one of the most intuitive and beautiful BI platforms on the market. And we did this to provide more powerful data visualizations and insights to a much broader cohort of end users and stakeholders. Now it's all very well and good, to have the nice shiny visualizations, but they can quickly become useless and sometimes even quite dangerous if the underlying data is not well structured, if it's not well maintained, or if it's not well understood. So in, in 2014, we set about finding an analytics platform that would help our team and our clients to build more trust in their data, more trust in their ETL processes, and to provide a solution that would ultimately help them progress along the analytics maturity curve. After a lot of research and analysis, we partnered with Nine, a super exciting analytics engine developed and driven by a highly passionate and talented team of data scientists with a clear vision and an open source approach to deployment. Over the past few years, we've been thrilled to be part of this community and humbled to be recognized as the International Partner of the Year for both Profix and Nine. And we're very excited about the innovation and opportunities that lie ahead. So today, with nearly two decades of experience in analytics and finance consulting, we have a team of 20 plus professional and passionate staff helping over 100 clients to grow their analytics capabilities across Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea. Many of these clients have been with us for over 10 years and have benefited from the entire suite of technologies that we work with, including Profix, Nime, Tableau, and more recently, Power BI. And as you may expect, our services span across the full spectrum of analytics, 
from planning, strategy and stakeholder management to solution design and architecture and proof of concepts. We help our clients to deliver enterprise implementations and deployments with a, a strong focus on training, co uh, coaching and skill transfers that's complemented by tailored support and managed services. These services are underpinned by our delivery ethos that are centered around building long-term and trusted partnerships with our clients and our technology partners. We focus on designing and deploying self-service solutions that can grow and scale with your business as your requirements evolve. And a big part of our approach revolves around collaboration. We know the technologies inside and out, but you know your business and you know your requirements, and it's a, a collaborative mindset which delivers the most successful outcomes. Lastly, we encourage our team and, and our clients to think big, but start small, to use enabling infrastructure and carefully chosen proof of concepts, which are proven to support and foster a, late, a lasting data-driven culture. These delivery ethos are reinforced by the data citizen philosophy that's made possible with NIME. The NIME analytics platform can be downloaded at no cost. And if you haven't done so already, I recommend that you do so today and have a bit of a play. Anyone can download the application and start using the full product for free. And then once you've identified a particular use case and you've proven the ROI, you can then deploy your workflows to the NIME server. And this will provide automation, collaboration, management, and enterprise deployment capabilities for a fully productionized data environment. The data citizen philosophy is all about empowering your people to work more effectively with data. Using the analytics platform, it's super quick and easy for a data citizen to create a workflow. The, the no code, the graphical UI, makes NIME very easy for non-programmers to use and the self-documenting features ensure that work remains transparent and easy to follow. The NIME server also offers a clean, intuitive and user-friendly web portal, allowing business users and, and those non-technical users to engage with and interact with the data available, further fueling a data-driven culture, which we're also passionate about. Reese Meekings, uh, who you'll hear from a little later on today, coined it beautifully earlier this year when you referred to it as facilitating a journey of data liberation. Uh, and you'll see a great example of the NIME web portal in action a little later with a demonstration from Angus Bache. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce you to our guest speakers and their respective topics. Paul Treichler, Head of Global Partnerships at NIME, will kick things off with a brief NIME overview and how the one ecosystem can support many different roles. He'll touch on deploying NIME workflows as data apps. And if we're lucky, he might also give us a sneak peek into what's coming up with NIME. Paul, I know it's very early in the morning for you, and we are very grateful for all the support that you and the team at NIME have provided to us and to our clients and to our community over the past five years. Next, we'll hear from Fred Herzman, Head of Data and Analytics with the Dulux Group. Fred will draw on his experience leading analytics divisions across the globe to discuss how empowering the analytics community with the right tool sets can lay the foundation for data culture success. We'll then be joined by David Ray, Network Operations Analyst at Main Roads WA. And David will showcase how he and his team have been able to extract, transform, and manipulate road and traffic data from hundreds of different sensors and make it accessible to a broad range of stakeholders, from the operators to the executive directors. We'll then pass the baton to Rhys Meekins, Manager of Corporate Strategy at MLG. And Reese will talk us through his experience with moving organizations up the analytics maturity curve and away from those data silos. We've known Reese for the best part of 10 years, and you won't meet a more passionate uh, person uh, 
focused on using technology to help businesses solve challenges and create meaningful outcomes. He's always championing data literacy and data awareness to anyone that he meets and talks to. And last but not least, we'll hear from Angus Beach, Senior Consultant and Data Science Lead with us here at Forest Grove. Angus has a special interest and expertise in text analytics, social media analysis, and the development of bespoke data application. His presentation today will highlight and demonstrate the capabilities and application of the NINE web portal to extend the reach of critical insights to data consumers. Now, before I pass you back to Betsy, uh, a quick reminder to the audience, please post all your questions in the Q&A chat uh, and our speakers will endeavour to answer as many as possible in the live Q&A session towards the end of the event. Thank you all for your company today and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks, Ross. Uh, as, as Ross said, we now welcome our very valued partner and colleague, Paul Treichler. Uh, Paul is VP of Global Partnerships at Nine. Welcome, Paul. Hello, and hello to the entire uh, community. Thanks, everyone, for joining today. Um, maybe a good place to start is actually in thanking Forest Grove. Uh, Forest Grove has been a top Nine partner for the last six plus years. Uh, including, as Ross mentioned, receiving our Global Partner of the Year Award. Um, and some of the things that Forest Grove has been doing have really not just supported the Asia Pacific area, but really our global community in general, uh, with many happy customers across both the public and private sector. So thanks, Forest Grove. I'll talk a little bit uh, today about NIME, um, both the software and the company. Um, so starting with NIME software, um, if you're not familiar with NIME, it's an end-to-end -end analytics platform that helps organizations gain value from their data. Uh, it's a fast and intuitive software that covers everything from Excel automation to more advanced data science and machine learning. Um, it is a visual interface, um, as has been mentioned. Uh, it's no code and it's drag and drop, uh, making access to these data tools uh, very uh, easy for people of all different types and skill sets. And NIME allows you to mix and match technologies. Um, we are an open ecosystem, and a lot of the power of the platform is in its uh, use and connection to all of the different data infrastructure that exists within your current organization. Um, so as a company, we are based in Zurich, Switzerland. We have offices across Europe and the USA. I'm dialing in from Berlin today. Um, and we're a very sustainable uh, company and have been supporting organizations of, of all sizes um, for many years at this point. Uh, and of course, we're nothing without our global open source ecosystem and our partners, um, and uh, which of course continue to grow. Uh, when you look at the NIME software and what it covers, it really is the full cycle. Um, this is actually a, a, a screenshot of a workflow in NIME. Uh, and as you can see, um, the tooling covers a very broad set of activities uh, in the data science life cycle from accessing data to data transformation and blending, uh, analysis, uh, data mining, uh, visualization, and of course, deployment. Um, and I'll get into these in a little bit more detail, um, but there's an enormous amount of flexibility in what you can do with NIME. At NIME, this is how we look at the data science lifecycle um, with our software bridging the gap between data science creation, um, starting with data blending and transformation model and visualization training models, optimizing and capturing um, that data science, and then putting it into production. And of course, production um, isn't just about deployment, um, but it's about how consumers uh, interact with data, use data, and also how those models and processes are uh, monitored and updated over time so they can continue to be relevant and useful. Um, our software also uh, is uh, reflects this creation and production duality with our NIME uh, analytics platform, our free open source platform supporting data science creation and NIME server uh, supporting data science production. Um, and that data science production uh, includes things like team collaboration, 
so that people of all different uh, skill uh, types and backgrounds can interact and, and be a part of the data science process to end user applications, um, access to workflows as a service and manage the execution. Um, as I mentioned, this is an intuitive visual programming environment. Um, here you can kind of see how this looks to put together a workflow. Uh, and we encourage you to actually download the free analytics platform and check it out for yourself. Um, there are some uh, good tools like the workflow coach that help you get started and know um, what's you know likely for you to use next in a workflow so that you can start being productive pretty immediately. And this tool is used across many different industries and use cases. Um, this is a very small subset here. Um, if you look across the verticals, it, it, we cover things like financial services to manufacturing, et cetera, and use cases from enabling your citizen data scientists all the way through um, FP&A and audit, fraud pre prevention, predictive maintenance, et cetera. So uh, this isn't a tool that just is for one division or for one uh, persona, but really supports all different ones. And when you are in the process of building a workflow or, or making your data useful in an organization, there are many different people that can be a part of the process or need to be a part of the process. And with Nime being visual, self-documenting, and uh, everything uh, is, is very transparent, these different uh, roles and people from uh, hardcore uh, data scientists to business analysts and even um, uh, risk oversight type folks and govern and folks that care about compliance all can participate, add their value and insight and understand what's happening in a data science process. I mentioned deployment and deployment can happen in many different ways. Um, and this is everything from bespoke data apps, which you'll see a bit of uh, later today, um, to deploying your workflow as a service um, or in uh, visualization, both in product and through tools like Tableau and Power BI. And uh, it's also important to be able to uh, deploy these workflows in a way that matches your infrastructure, um, your IT setup, and um, your business goals. So um, we provide an enormous amount of flexibility uh, when it comes to execution of workflows from where they run um, to uh, the resources used, et cetera. And if you look at the uh, the global community, th this is where all this where comes together and where the rubber hits the road. Um, so this is uh, all of the innovation that happens in each of these companies that are uh, looking at solving their own problems then uh, can become available through the open source ecosystem. The access to that innovation um, is through Nime Hub. So if you have a particular area where you're looking to see uh, can Nime do this, I encourage you to just go into Hub type it in the box and uh, you should be able to get a, a starting point for anything that you're looking to do. So I encourage you to check that out as well. So as Ross mentioned, uh, we did wanna give you a quick preview of what's coming. So um, today available is Nime Edge, which is low latency deployment at the edge. Um, we're working on some new UI UX. This is a uh, browser-based uh, UI, um, and this will also be backwards compatible. That's a really exciting development for us and uh, I'm sure will be a positive impact on our community as well. Um, we're working on, of course, workflow execution uh, performance, um, new visualization framework. Uh, Python is a very important part of our, uh, our ecosystem uh, in the data science world. And so performance, uh, ease of use, and node extensions are all a focus for us. Um, we're also working on, on enterprise features such as versioning and collaboration and credential management. Um, this is something, of course, that comes from our customers' direct feedback that we're working on. Um, workflows as a service uh, is another area where we're working to increase performance and allowing you to scale parts of a workflow um, that, that promises to be a, another tool that, that adds a lot of value to the enterprise. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, data apps. Uh, data apps is available now, um, but we really want to make those apps more dynamic, so uh, providing more optionality for, uh, for our customers. So I hope that gives a good sense of, of uh, kind of some of the excitement that we have in our community and, and what we're all about. Uh, certainly encourage you to uh, take our free online self-paced courses. We have tons of books and documentation, whether you're coming from uh, an audit background or manufacturing background, or you're looking to move from another tool to NIME. Um, there's plenty of free uh, resources available. Um, being a large open source ecosystem, the forum is a great place to answer questions. Um, check out our YouTube channel and, of course, 
I recommend uh, chatting with Forest Grove, who've helped many of our clients in Asia to get started uh, to make use of their data. So hope that provides a, a good uh, overview of NIME and uh, looking forward to the rest of the show. Thanks so much.